Hello everyone, it's myself, Dr. Sarva Jahan and I'm going to facilitate this uh, course and we are going to look into the dynamics and the fundamentals of sales, sales operations and its importance for the organizations. So, what do we understand with this term sales management and sales operations? Sales management is the most important function for any sales based organization and interestingly this is the only department in any organization which is generating the revenue you talk about rest of any another department you call it finance or you talk about marketing logistics uh, it these are all the departments which are basically the expense for the organization but this is the only organize this is the only department which is generating the revenue for you and which is earning the money for you so sales operations is about managing planning organizing leading and motivating the activities of the frontline sales team sales representatives and all those so sales employees who are going to meet the customers and the clients. So managing the flow of their activities, planning their activities, recruiting them, training them, assigning the territories and involving all those operations through which you are enable the sales teams to perform their operations successfully is the role of the sales operation teams. So it is concerned with assisting and allowing the frontline salespeople to sell more efficiently and effectively. What are the benefits for a professional sales operations team? So when you talk about the benefits of developing the sales team, number one, that it is going to strategize and decision making based on data. So as we see, data is the king. Data is driving the sales management. Data is driving actually every function of the organization. So when we talk about the data-driven sales management, it is about making the decisions. It is about forecasting, planning. It is about planning on the inventory. It is about designing the territories. It is about the allocation of the sales team on the basis of the previous data and its analytics. Refined sales operations, when you talk about the refined sales operations, we are not making the random decisions, but the refining sales operations is about, it has very much supported by the planning. Planning about what? Planning about the sales people, planning about the sales allocation, planning about the sales budgeting, planning about in each of the store or less in each of the outlet, how many sales people are going to be allocated enhance recruiting and hiring practices. So, as much as the frontline salespeople efficiency is important, likewise, their recruitment, their motivation, their timely trainings, their appraisal, the decisions about the compensation packages and the commissions and the bonuses which are being paid to them is equally important. And the timely reviewing of the performance of the sales force is again important and one of the important aspects of the sales operations team and then lastly more efficient recruitment and a staff training program so as we just talked about this that the staff training programs it's a frequent process it's a continuous process you cannot say that you have trained your sales team maybe once a year and you are done no they require continuous motivation they require continuous support they 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 want to be trained they want to be encouraged because sales can be a very tiring process. There may be the days when you are not being able to generate a single number and that can cause a lot of depression and frustration in your team. So as you are being able to train them with using the different training methods that could be a class-based method, that could be case studies, that could be simulation, it could be on-field trial basis trainings where the sales managers and maybe the senior people in the sales are going to tell them and going to demonstrate them that how to make the deal, how to close the sales, what are the different selling techniques that they have to use. Then increase productivity and revenue. So of course the more efficient our sales teams are likewise we can expect the maximum revenue and the profitability of the organization. And then the improved operations management helps the self representatives to focus on selling. So when your backend process is well structured, 
when you see that your operations are streamlined, when you see that your sales operations team is being able to manage the softwares, they are being able to analyze the data, they are being able to allocate the team, they are being able to look at the previous trends, they are being able to make the well-structured decisions, then of course it is going to support the sales team as well. And of course it is going to result in the increased sales and the numbers that the sales team is looking forward to accomplish. So what is the difference between the sales operations versus sales enablement? Sales enablement refers to all the initial stages before actually the selling process starts. So let's suppose when you're talking about there's a new food or beverage company which is going to enter into the market. So what is sales enablement for them? The sales enablement is that before your sales team is going to uh, start their campaign, maybe in the big stores like Carrefour or Lulu, before that, you have to make sure how they have been trained. It might be also about making a connection and bridge between your marketing and the sales department, providing them with the resources, providing them with the product description. However, the sales operation is about once you are being able to go more into the sales funnel process and when you are about to close the deals and when it is more about the uh, allocation of the territories, it is more about the allocation of sales force, it is more, more about uh, looking at which prospects and customers are in which stage of the uh, sales funnel and likewise you can take the follow-ups for them, you can see their performance and you can always deviate the plannings and the strategies. So what are the different roles under the sales operations? So it is about the strategy development. The strategy could be about the selling techniques that we will be discussing further in our uh, coming lectures. That is about the performance of every single sales representative or sales personnel, how they are performing, how many number of units they are closing in a day, on a weekly basis, on a quarterly basis, what is their lead generation capacity, what is their conversion rate, the use of technology in the sales management and in the sales operations has been increasingly popular and has become must for the organizations which are the sales based organizations. So the use of customer relationship management, the use of the sales automation tools, the use of those softwares which are going to align your customers, your prospect which is going to help you see that what are your hot leads, warm leads, cold leads, at which point you have to target which customer and how uh, this all should be streamlined and then the operations has to run smoothly in order for the front sales people to perform effectively.